Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to create multiple choice questions. A multiple choice question requires learners to select only one correct answer out of the choices from a list. To create it, open the Interactions tab and click Multiple Choice. And you will see the new question slide appear on the canvas. It has the question title, answer choices, feedback messages, and a button. Type or paste the title and answer choices of the question. By default, a multiple choice question comes with four choices with a radio button for each. You can add more or remove them. To add more answer choices, select the answer section and click this green button. On the other hand, to delete an answer, select it and press the delete key on your keyboard. To define the correct answer of the question, Double click the radio button of the answer choice. And you can change the style of these radio buttons from the format tab. Now, we'll talk about the layout of the answer choices. In general, there are two layout modes, grid and none. By default, the answer choices are placed on the canvas using the grid mode. You cannot change the object position separately but have to do it with the whole group of objects, because the object position is fixed. However, you can change the order of each answer in the group. You can also define the number of columns and spacing between answers. To do that, select the answer choices and go to the group layout section of the properties pane, and change the values in the corresponding boxes. There are some advanced settings that we will discuss in the video working with group layout of question. In addition, with the none mode, you are free to change the size and position of any object in a group. Just drag and place it anywhere on the canvas. This mode is used to create quizzes that have answer choices placed randomly on the slide like this. Now, let me show you how to set score and reporting for the question. Select the question, go to the score and reporting section of the properties pane, and select the graded mode. Define the number of points for each correct answer learners give. Then, define the number of max attempts that learners can make and the total time for answering the question before the objects are disabled. Select this option to shuffle the answer choices each time learners retake the quiz. If you want to track the learner result with an LMS, pay attention to this value. Otherwise, the default value is good to go. Now comes adding events and actions to the question. Like other types of question in Active Presenter 7, a multiple choice one comes with default events and actions that are ready to use. However, you can change them as you want. Bear in mind that if you select the survey mode early on, the question won't have on correct and on incorrect event. Instead, it has on complete, on incomplete, and on timeout event, since it only checks if users complete the survey or not. I will add one more action so that after users answer the question correctly, the submit button is hidden. You can refer to the video working with events, actions for more information. Now, Take a look at the feedback messages and the button here. Even though they are added by default, you can add more or delete them. You can also customize them the way you like. However, you have to do that in the Slide Master view. In the View tab, click Slide Master. And they are now editable. You can edit the messages one by one or all of them at once. Select them, go to the Format tab and style them the way you like. Similarly. You can format the Submit button in the Format tab. Besides, add more buttons to the question if needed. Copy and paste to create another button. And add events and actions to it. I'm creating the Back button. When you're done with the editing, close the Slide Master view. Click Slide Master, and click Close Master view. Now, let's take a look at the final result. That's enough for creating multiple choice questions in Active Presenter. Thank you for watching.